So, in the first part, we were introducing what are the key things, um, um, the 60 standards uh, that we have to guarantee that in the end we'll have satisfaction of our experiences. And now we're going to talk about what are these eight fundamental changes for standard satisfaction that we really see that need to be implemented to guarantee that in the end we're going to have 100% of this strategy uh, implemented. So, ta -da! the eight fundamental changes are, first of all, expectation setting for from the first touch point, second, ICB role evolution, third, ECB entity control bodies, and that's where you guys are, um, Zendesk implementation, entity audit process, NPS survey, um, monthly and regional goal setting, and standard and satisfaction uh, GSTs. So, thinking about these eight fundamental changes, so there are some that, for of course, like are more AI uh, responsibility, and then uh, because of the system and so on, we are adjusting a lot of the things that are here. But also there are a lot of the things that actually it's your responsibility as entities. And these are things that you can start doing from now and you don't need to wait from AI or from no one to actually start making sure that these things are being implemented. Yeah? So first of all, um, what, what are things that you can start doing? Yeah, so first, expectation setting for, for first touch point. So as we were saying before, um, one thing that we need to do to guarantee inner and outer journey is implementing all those 16 things, right? And this is something that for sure you can start doing from the first, first time you meet your uh, EPs or even before you meet them. Uh, you, as ECB, you can already start providing a lot of information to your EPs from now on. Yeah, so how is it as... I was saying before, how is it, it is for them to find uh, a good like uh, visa details? Uh, how much are you actually in your forms uh, that your LCs are putting there? They are creating the opportunities. How much are they actually get putting there? Look, these are the conditions. Like this is the JD. Uh, this is the duration, this is the working time, uh, these are like the accommodation conditions, or these are the options for accommodation, this is the arrival um, pickup, like details. How much details are you actually providing? So make sure that Put yourself again, so make an exercise and put yourself again in the role of an EP that maybe is the first time of this person outside of uh, her or his country. So uh, that was what happened with me. So my exchange experience was my first time outside of Brazil, for example. And yeah, I, I needed all information. Like I needed all the details and everything. And I was asking like crazy for all the details because I needed that. But imagine how, how much better it would be if we could provide this already directly to everyone that in a simple place that would be very easy for everyone to find. And how much are we guaranteeing also that once the EP is there, we are making all those first touch points that will facilitate everything. So we are telling this EP, yeah, how is it that the lead is going to work out? How is it that... OPS is going to work out. How is it that uh, I'm going to take you to the first day of work and these are the things that we're going to lie together. So all these things are things that you should uh, be able to put in a good detail and make sure in your entity everyone is implementing it. Then of course on the AI side, uh, we are working also with the ICB, so this year we were seeing a lot of things that we still like need to improve, uh, but I, I, still we are working a lot on making sure that ICB is going to be more and more effective for the next um, years to guarantee that at least like globally we have, um, we have them, first of all, making a good like case solving. So guaranteeing that in the end uh, they know 
how to do it very fast and very effectively and that we can count on ICB for this. So this is one thing. Um, they can also like do consultancy and this is something that they are doing a lot of the time. So in a lot of conferences and virtually they're doing it, keeping the communication also, so sending like the newsletters, they're keeping people updated on how things are going and also making sure that yeah, in the end, they're giving the support to you guys. So making sure that in the end, you know what? ICB is not going to be the one re like solving everything. So it's much better if the ECB are the ones who are solving everything, right? So when I was in, in Isaac in Brazil, for example, we had a pretty good like ECB. And this was really good because in the end, they were the ones who were solving all the cases that we had in a really, really fast and effective way. And the cases that we needed to take to ICB were really few. Yeah, so in the end, they were really fast in making sure that things were there. And also that, for example, audit was happening. So this is another thing that the ICB now is revising how they're going to do this. But in the end, it's something that you guys for sure should be doing in your entity. So for sure, you should guarantee that this is happening in your entity. So... Also, another thing that you can uh, start doing, and that's why you're here, so uh, the Entity Cultural bo Bodies, which uh, is basically guaranteeing uh, a lot of things. So from firefighting until like education and guaranteeing that the whole like center and satisfaction is there being completely implemented. So this is something like super, super important that you guys need to do. And I guess this whole um, block of transition is going to help you also making sure that you have everything in order to guarantee that in your entity, you have a really good system that people understand the steps that they need to take. They understand how to communicate to AEPs. They understand how to provide the information to the AEPs. They understand a lot of things. Yeah, they, they do all the thing and this is all your responsibility and I hope you're gonna learn a lot from this now also on AI side we are working a lot with the Zendesk implementation so this is something on the ICB side that they are answering all the time these things and like questions that people have about cases and so on and then on the MC side uh, which is also part of your responsibility is to also start the whole entity audit process. This was something I think you can take some good cases. I um, in my previous entity, so in Isaac and Brazil, we used to have uh, an audit process since like 2008 or something. So uh, it's a pretty much like a structure one, and also it's part of the whole membership criteria. So this is something that also uh, really help. Uh, keep the entities uh, accountable to each other and uh, to the whole entity and this is something that makes sure that in the end it's not only about like keeping documents and so on but really like dangerous thing, things can happen if you don't have a really good accountability system and if you don't have a really good audit process we're dealing here with contracts we're dealing here with life of people like in any time, like with visa and everything. So in any time, any par any people, any person can just go to your entity and try to question you about things. And you need to have everything in order as an entity. So this is a really, really serious thing that people don't take into consideration a lot. But something really serious can happen if we don't start taking things more seriously too. So this is another thing that you can start organizing yourself for this. And then on the AI side, just to uh, give you an update is that also the whole like NPS and so on, we are still working on it to make sure that it's there in the system. We have everything, like we have the questions, we have everything done already, but it takes a time to uh, be there in the system completely. So it is part of our development until uh, the end of the term, but it's still it's something that I cannot give you a final like deadline. But again, you can 
also start sending your own questions to your EPs. Uh, there are a lot of entities that are doing this like offline already. So this is something really good in that you can get some ideas from it. So don't let this be a barrier for you to make it happen too. And then also one really important thing is that as uh, part of the entity responsibility, and this is something more on an MC level, but I think as uh, ECBs you need to talk to your MC to guarantee that they have it there, is having a really good like NPS Go planning so that they know exactly uh, what kind of NPS they want to have, like what, what is the final goal that they have, what is everything that they have to make sure that everything is there and it's in place. So this is one communication that we really need to keep with your MC to guarantee that everything there is in order and you know the goal that you have, you know where you want to go. And then, of course, on the AI team, now we're revising the whole SNS, like global support team. So uh, um, these people are going to work closely more now to Courage, that is on the ICB, also responsible for the ECBs. So uh, later on, you'll get more updates on how these things are going. Yeah, but this is all to guarantee that in the end, we can implement all the standards that are there, all the 16 standards. And with that, we'll have a much higher satisfaction with all our EPs. So this is the time also to make sure that now you can really make it happen. So you can really like you start your uh, implementation steps. So this is the time as ECB that you have now together to make sure that everything is going to be implemented. So this is the time that you need to see, okay, what are the things that I still need to, to develop or not? And again, make sure that, you know, in the end, um, you are listening really to your customers. So one of the key things being responsible now for SNS on a global level that I received I always receive like emails, for example, from entities uh, complaining about their EPs or uh, that they want to sue someone or, or something like this. And honestly, for me, it's a lot about how you you talk to your customer and how much you listen to your customer. So implementation of standard satisfaction is not that complicated. And from now, what I've seen is that, especially this part of communication, it's something that generally, in, in a global level, we really need to improve. Like, the way that I see people sending emails to EPs, like, the way that they talk to them and so on, really, if I was an EP in this side, I would also be very, very mad about this whole thing, because it's not the way you treat a person in general, right? I remember when I was MCP, for example, we had a case of uh, the dad of an AP that he was completely mad. So he went to the MC and he was not even from Sao Paulo, from the city where the MC is. He was from another city. His daughter was from another city. But he was so mad that, that he wanted to go to the like national level to talk to someone, to try to call like lawyers and so on. And what I did was that I sit there, I listen to the person, I talk to him, I, I really try to understand that person. And after that, he was not mad anymore. Uh, he was not going to call his lawyers anymore. So what I realized was that it was a lot from our mistake of not listening very well and not knowing how to communicate to the customers that we have really well. Um, so this, this was one key learning that I also leave it here for you because, yeah, these small things can really make a huge, huge difference. And this is the time where you now, as ECBs, you can really start putting in action everything that needs to happen to make sure that in the end we are going to achieve, uh, 2015 by having really good experiences. Yeah, and this is your responsibility from now on. And I'm really happy that you're here uh, engaged on making this happen. And I really hope you enjoy the rest of your webinars that you have here. 
And if you have any questions or if you want any examples on how to do things and so on, you can always contact me, okay? So thank you very much for everything. Hope to see you guys soon. Thank you.